any petrol in. What's that? You got any petrol in it? First time. That was the easiest part. Now check here the odometer, it shows 12,098 kilometers on the meter and the fuel almost empty. So heading to fill up the fuel now. To take out the motorcycle on the, to the roads in Europe, you need a green card insurance. None of the companies in UK do that. So you have to get it from an agency from Bulgaria. That's what I used. It takes around 15 days to get it but an overnight express will do for 50 euros additional. You need a clearing agent to clear the motorcycle out of the port. I used Energy Freight Forwarders um, in Felixstowe, UK, and they did a wonderful job. Also, you need an international driving permit issued by the local RTO office in India uh, to drive in a lot of places. Of course, you need a shipping agent to ship out this motorcycle to the, out of the country. So I used NTA in Kochi, uh, owned by Xavier, a fantastic guy. And for customs clearance, you need a liable, non-liability certificate from the local RT office. To take your vehicle out of the country, now for touring purposes, you need a card. That's not issued by the Government of India, it is issued by Federation of Indian Automobile Association. Um, Western India Automobile Association is affiliated to them and they issue Carnet for India. Uh, it is based in Bombay, in Churchgate and um, you can have it in a in couple of weeks time. The Carnet booklet comes with 10 pages or 25 pages. If you intend to visit more than 10 countries, you should better get 25 page car night. Some people ask me how much does it cost for all these things. Now let me break it down. The car night costs 1 lakh for the 25 pages with an additional GST of 18% which is an 18,000 rupees and car net deposit 100,000 1 lakh rupees and shipping charges 1 lakh 5,000 rupees and clearing charges 90,000 rupees and the green card insurance for three months 15,800 for a total of 4 lakh 28,000 rupees. After the flag off on March 6, 2022, the motorcycle took it to Cochin Port. From there, it loaded to uh, Varada ship from Kochi to Mundra Port in Gujarat. There it stayed around 10 days there. From 26th, uh, it is loaded into MSC Irene, which is heading to Felix Stowe. On the way, it stopped at uh, Salala Oman, King Abdullah Port, Saudi Arabia, uh, Suez Canal, Egypt, uh, Gamlek, Turkey, Barbaros, Turkey, Valencia, Spain, Science, Portugal, and finally to Felix Stowe, uh, UK. From there, it has been trained to uh, Ipswich. UK that's where the container finally left at the same time you have to do your visa processing a citizen of uh, India have access to around 65 countries without any issues otherwise you had to apply for a visa before you started out start early because it is going to take some time and also you have to take some vaccinations if the country you're visiting needs vaccinations or when you exit out of the country some countries needs vaccination as well so the bike is gone, the visa is done, the vaccination is done, um, money kind of arranged and also change the mobile connection to international roaming and all set ready to go. So I started out on April 21st from Kochi to Sri Lanka on a Sri Lanka Airlines flight. From there to Paris the same night, um, from there from Paris to London on a bus, flex bus, 
and from London Victoria Station, Liverpool Street Station on a cab, and from there to Ipswich. Finally, in Ipswich, I met my bike. Any petrol in? What's that? You got any petrol in it? First time. Okay. Hey, thanks a lot. Okay. You're welcome. Really appreciate it. Enjoy your ride. Thank you. Tonight, I'm going to stay in Felixstowe, UK. And tomorrow morning, I'll be heading out to Belgium via British Channel. From there, I'll start exploring each and every country. If you like my videos, please like it, share it, and subscribe it. And I'll see you in a bit. Now, signing off, EP Joe's.